In this lesson, we continue with Venn diagrams. Example 2. In a recent study, 125 people were asked whether in the past year they went on holiday in the summer, winter or spring. The results are given below. Question A. Complete the Venn diagram and determine the value of x. When completing a Venn diagram, it's important to always start on the inside and work your way out. So here we want the number of people who went on holiday in the summer, winter and spring. And that was already given as 5 people and indicated in the Venn diagram. The number of people that went only in one of the seasons has already been indicated. So here I'm simply reminding you to look out for the word only. We were given that 20 went only in the summer and that means you can immediately fill it in like that. If the word only was not there, we would have subtracted all the overlapping parts. The first three parts of the information has already been filled in on the Venn diagram. The next bit of information states that 23 went in the winter and spring. This time the word only does not appear there. These 23 people could then have gone on holiday only in winter and spring or in winter, spring and summer. So I'm going to take the 23 and subtract the 5 and that will give me a value of 18 for those people who only went on holiday in winter and spring. Next we are given that 17 people went on holiday in the winter and the summer and once again the word only does not appear here so we take the 17 subtract the 5 that went in all three seasons to get to 12 that only went in winter and summer. We are also given that 105 people went in at least one of the seasons. Of the 125 people that we have in the study, 105 will then fall in at least one of these circles and that means that 20 people lie outside these circles and did not go on holiday in any of the seasons. And finally we have that X number of people went only in the summer and spring, so we can immediately fill that in. Using our complete Venn diagram we can now calculate the value of X. We know that in our circles we have 105 people and that means 105 is equal to X plus 20 plus 18 plus 12 plus 5 plus another 18 plus 30. When I now take 105 and subtract all the constant values, you will find that X is 2. Question B. Determine the probability that a person that is chosen at random went on holiday in summer and spring. Here we need to realize that the word only does not appear and that means it includes the people that went on holiday in summer and spring as well as those people who went on holiday in all three seasons. This means that 7 out of the 125 people went on holiday in summer and spring and the probability of choosing one of those people will be 7 out of 125. Question C. Determine the probability that a person chosen at random from those who went on holiday in winter also went on holiday in spring. Here they firstly mention that we are only focusing on those people who went on holiday in winter. This circle consists of 65 people. Now they ask us that if we have a look at these 65 people, what is the probability that the person we choose also went on holiday in spring? So in this circle, if we focus on those who went on holiday in spring, you will see that there are 23 people. And that means that this probability is 23 out of the 65 people that already went on holiday in winter. 
From this example, you can see that it is important to determine whether the probability is out of the whole sample space or only a specific part of the sample space because that value will be the denominator in your probability.